Okay, YouTube. So here's the situation. I just made a video a second ago, and the question, it wasn't even a video about anything technology related as far as specs or hardware like it usually is. It was simply a question to you, the masses, the consumers. Are you mad at Intel? Do you have spite? Do you have disdain? Do you feel that Intel has been ticking and talking their way along to put money in the pockets of their investors rather than power in the hands of their consumers, doing what they really needed to do and not what they could do for the past seven, eight, nine years? I personally feel that way. Um, I think a lot of people that have spent a ton of money in the enterprise are going to feel that way and for applications that suit um, you know, AMD's Epic CPUs, even in the data center, they're going to lose a ton of money uh, to those clients. I think people are going to be going out and buying AMD products simply because they're AMD products and they are very competitive, they are very well priced, have a ton of value for those reasons, but also because there is some hatred right now floating in the water for Intel. It is clear. I saw a, a video posted earlier by Adored TV, who's awesome. If you haven't seen that guy, check him out. He's very intelligent, does a lot of really cool uh, in-depth research. I wish I could do it myself. Um, I, don't, I don't have the screen time with my eyes to do that right now, but when I get my, you know, my vision right, I'll be able to do those as well. Hope to bring you guys some really insightful stuff. Um, but I just did the video and I had to do it again. And I had to do it again, I had to do it again because you can see back here, this is Hitler on my screen. And I'm, I'm not for this guy whatsoever. This is a video that actually just, I just was gonna, gonna put the video I did for you guys online and I saw a notification and it was a, uh, it was a reported as spam. Somebody, uh, and I'll, I'll actually, I'm not gonna link it below, but it's in one of my previous videos. If you find it, great. If you wanna search for this video and find it, fine. Um, I don't really wanna promote anything that's you know uh, anti-Semitic or whatever this guy used to be, but um, it is a basically a hate video um, about Intel. And I previously started putting together something that was not quite as serious as this. I was gonna do a funny like AMD hidden camera into the uh, CEO of Intel's office, you know, while he's kind of going through uh, the, the time when, when AMD announced their Zen cores, you know, this crazy new scalable architecture that's gonna go from low power embedded all the way to the data center and stuff like that and kind of his reactions throughout the release of, of Ryzen, uh, and now, you know, now Threadripper and their, their, their low-end mainstream parts, their server parts, mobile soon, et cetera, um, and kind of a funny, you know, spin on it. But it's clear to me now, I was gonna ask you guys the question, and I, I think the answer is that, that people are. I, I don't even think I have to ask the question anymore. If you're not angry at Intel for having I don't want to say drug us through the mud for the last seven or eight years, but certainly not providing the innovation that they could have uh, with the value that they could have. And if you're not angry at Intel, put it down below. If I think that a lot of you do have some disdain towards Intel right now because of, you know, their, their anti-consumer practices. And, and, and really, I don't think anybody can argue that AMD even though they've had some flaws in previous generations of, you know, of CPUs in the architecture, um, I don't think anybody can really argue that they haven't at least attempted or tried to bring value to the consumer, and that's extremely evident today. Obviously, they're in a position, position where they're, they're able to do that. They have a very competitive architecture. They have this design CPU that is meant to be scalable and modular, and they're just way more nimble in terms of what they're able to create right now uh, than what Intel can offer. They're, they're a lot more agile and have a lot more transparency. And, and I think trust with consumers because of their track record and because of, again, you know, transparency moving forward and the obvious value that they're bringing to consumers today and um, I'm not saying you guys should go out and watch this video, but this just answered the question for me if people are angry at Intel, and I think it's a resounding yes. I, I, like I say, I just did a video where I, I was gonna ask you guys, are you angry at Intel? Um, but seeing everything I've seen, 
and you've seen it for years in comment sections. People wished AM, you know, AMD could provide you know, more competition to Intel or somebody could provide more competition to Intel to push them forward, to progress technology, to provide better values, you know, uh, value for us, the consumers. And um, I think it's been answered, but if you guys have any input, any feedback to this, you know, are you angry with Intel? Do you, do you have, um, you know, uh, a love for AMD because they're, they're, they're now competitive, they're bringing value to the market? How do you feel, how, how, how do you guys, what are your feelings? Tell me your feelings. I want to know how you guys feel about these two companies and why. So put the comments down below. Tomorrow I'm going to try and bring you guys a video about future AMD CPUs, future AMD not sockets, but new platforms to kind of keep up with what Intel does with their regular platform release schedule. It's almost like they have going on. Um, but I want to talk about some of the advancements in architecture with uh, the Zen 2 and 3 cores, some of the advancements you know, that, you, that you're going to see there inherent of die shrinks, you know, going to 7 nanometer, some of the things with Infinity Fabric 2.0 and things of that nature. Look forward to that tomorrow. So uh, let me know down below how you guys feel about Intel, how you feel about AMD. Be honest. Uh, let me know why, if you've had some you know, good experiences using AMD parts in the past and have, and have felt you got good value out of their products or vice versa. You know, Whatever side of the fence you come down on, put it down below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in as always. Peace out.